Hello, my name is Alexey. In this series of video tutorials we learned how to build a website from scratch on Joomla 4. In previous video tutorial we created blog with commands, share buttons and YouTube videos. In this video we will transfer our website from local server to real hosting with real domain. We will also update our Joomla and its extensions. Let's start with hosting. You can choose any domain or hosting. There are several recommendations in my blog about this. Let's start with plan and pricing. I will choose the cheapest one. Here we can choose any domain or we can choose free one. But I strongly recommend you to think about what domain you are buying and not just click for free one. For test purpose I will just select this one. For example, for my testing purpose I will enter this domain name and let's register. I enter all necessary fields. Here I can change plan but I won't do that. Here you can choose where will be your physical server location. I recommend you to choose the location as much near to your customers as possible. I will choose for example this one. For testing purpose I will select just one month but you can select 12 months, 24 months or 3 years. I will choose one month. I won't choose any additional services. And now I will enter my credit card number. You can choose pay via PayPal or via credit card. We need to confirm these terms of service. You need to read it before. I have some errors in my phone number and now just OK. After for around one or two minutes I have this message. I have two emails in my inbox. Here I can see some necessary details for me. Also I have domain registration confirmation. Let's go to our client area. You can check these manuals. I won't do that. Let's see our products. We have our hosting. Also we have our domain name. If I check my domain name I will see it won't work because I registered just now. It can take up to 72 hours after registration. In most cases it will take for a one or eight hours. So just wait while your domain will work and then you can continue to work with your hosting. While our domain not working let's go to our products. Here we can see control panel. Here we need to enter our password from account and we will log in in our control panel. Here we can see suggestion to switch to Jupyter Tem. Let's make it. So we have this layout, new design. Let's see our file manager. Here we can see our public HTML folder. Here we need to upload our website. One more time it doesn't work. It's our Joomla in local host. Let's go to Akiba backup and make a backup. Ok, let's download it. Download our backup. Now let's go to our file manager and upload our file. We can just move it here and wait for a while. 
Now just go back. Here we need to delete uh, this file and extract this one. After several seconds we will see this picture. Also we can delete this one. I will refresh the page. We can see our files. If I'll refresh the page with my domain it won't work. That's just fine. Now we need go to the database and create database for our website. For example, it will be Joomla, just for example, create database, go back. Now we need create a database user, for example, just user. We need to generate password, just copy it. I suggest you to save password, username in and database name. We'll need them when we will install our Joomla on this server. Create user. Now let's add user to database. Just click add. All privileges. Make changes. Let's see another tools we've got. For example, here we can check our PHP version. I will leave it by default 8.1. You can change to another version, but I prefer to leave it like this. Also here we can see email accounts. We can create new mail, for example, it will be info Alexios online. I will generate new password. You can leave everything like this, for example, create. Here we can see our new mail, we can manage it, for example, check emails. Here we can see our mail client. We will need this information in future when our domain will work. But just know where you can find it. Also, after our domain will work, we will create the SSL certificate. And for now, just wait. You can Close our local server. Now we will work with real hosting and we don't need our XAMPP server. After one or two hours my domain become alive. So let's start installing our website on our hosting with our real domain. Just click next. Here you need to enter a local host. Here you need to enter the username for your database. Here the password from your database. And here the name of your database. We created now just few seconds and move over. Here we can leave all like this and just click next. Here we can remove installation directory and visit our front end site. Here we can see our site. It look the same as on localhost. But this is not our local server XAMPP, it, this is our hosting. Everything works fine.
let's enter our admin panel. As usual, we need to enter administrator. And here we need to enter our admin login and admin password. This is the same username as and password as we enter on our XAMPP. Just log in and we can see this is our Joomla panel. So, from now, if you're working with your site, you will need to work here on your real hosting, not on local server. Let's check some extensions update. Go here, be sure everything is enabled, then go here and check for updates. After you check all extensions, first make a backup and after backup finished, you may update all your extensions. Just click update and wait. Here we can see some after update messages. Let's check for updates again. Now let's look at our site. After every update you need to check every page. You need to check everything works fine, everything looks fine, so just know it. Before update Joomla I will show you how to install SSL certificate. We need to go to our control panel. Find here Let's Encrypt SSL and click here. We can leave it like this and just click here. Now we need to wait for a few minutes. After a few seconds let's go to our browser and enter HTTPS and then our domain. So we can see our Let's Encrypt is installed. Everything looks fine, so here we can see an error and here we can see no error. Go to configuration and here in the server enter force HTTPS enter site. Save and close. Now we have HTTPS for all our pages. Also, let's look to our contact details. Here, in previous video tutorial, we enter this data, but now we have our mail and we can use it. So, for example, from mail will be like this. This I will leave Joomla 4. Here I need to enter another data. Our email account. Check our email. Here we need to copy this. This. Also we need to change this data and enter our mail password. Just save it and let's try. So, we have success message, refresh and yes, it works just fine. Before updating your Joomla, go to Akiba Backup and backup your site again. I won't do that, but I am strongly recommend to you to do this and just after this now you just need to wait for a few seconds. After update is complete you will see this message. Also pay attention we have new post install message. This is for all Joomla sites and this is new one. Let's read it and do what we need. Not after all updates we have new post install message, but in this case we have one. So we need to go to this file 
and find this. Let's go to our hosting file manager. This is our site. Let's add it. Let's find the string. Here it is, and we ne need to change it on this string. Just save changes. And now we can hide this message and check all our site, all our pages and so on. In the following video tutorials we will take a close look at the virus building Joomla extensions. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.